I was coming home from Baton Rouge one day. I had been up there for business. And as I passed by Scully Seafood, that's why that place always has a special place in my heart. I was passing by there, and, and as you pass by Scully's, you can glance over and you can see the water behind Scully's. You've know, got that little mm -hmm. slough or whatever comes in right there by the bookman. And as I looked at that, for just a brief second, God opened up my heart, <coughs> took Stevensville, put it in there, and closed my heart, and didn't tell me a word. <laughs> and from that moment of that planting, higher ground was going to exist. I didn't know it. But that's when it happened. We started a little old Bible study. Our first Bible study had a total of four people at it, and one of them was my wife. We started that Bible study on January 21st in 1993. Had no idea where it was going, we just wanted a Bible study. Went through floods and all kind of things, but we didn't, we never stopped the Bible study. Man, I mean, when I say floods, I mean we went to the Bible study one day, we had to that plank sitting up on top of tires just so we could get to the trailer. <laughs> Hallelujah. My wife saw chickens roosting in a tree for the first time in her life. She said, I never saw that. I said, honey, you, the, the chickens either get to the tree or their supper. Because <laughs> this place is full of alligators. And the chickens know that. <laughs> Hallelujah. Bible study grew and it got too large for the house, so we rented a little building down the road here, right next to Larry Dwyer's office. In fact, it was his old office. And we started our Bible study in there. And while we were in there, we developed into a church. And uh, we had our first church service on July the 17th, and we were acknowledged by the state of Louisiana, December of that year, 1995. Thus, we are here 15 years later. We didn't know what to call the place. What do you call us? I don't know. So we, I sought the Lord, and I'm not, you know, I'm not. The name thing didn't matter to me. But that particular day, I was reading in Psalm 61, and God brought me into verse two. It said, "Lead me to the rock that is higher than I." That is our foundation of Scripture. It's a Scripture God gave me for higher ground. And He said this. He said, "It will be called higher ground." where our wounded hearts are mended. On October the 12th, 1996, we dedicated this building as our new church. Uh, we, we've uh, stretched out into other countries, and our biggest thing that we're doing right now is in Honduras, and we're uh, supporting a, a, uh, an orphanage there with a family who we were their very first. And, 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 and believe me, this is hard to believe, but we are the only church that still supports them. Oh my God. There's individuals that support them, but we're the only church who's been with them from the very beginning. Before they ever left Texas, God spoke to me. He spoke to me so strongly. You know, God gets to messing with your money. Boy, that's something. But I called him and I said, Mr. Leonard, I said, when are y'all leaving for Honduras? And he told me the date. And I said, well, look, I want to come and see y'all off. I hadn't even met him. I hadn't met him. I talked to him on the phone. That was it. Never met him face to face. All I knew was what God said. See, that's all I'm responsible for. And so I said, I'm going to come down there and I'm going to see you all off. And, and that evening when I went into prayer, God said, no. God said, take the money that you spent on your airline ticket, your rental car, and your hotel, and send them the money. I called him back and said, Brother Leonard, I can't come, man. God said, no. But he told me to take the expenses of the trip and send it to you guys. So I said, I'm going to do it. I said, I guess I'll meet you in Honduras or something. Hello there. Here, Leo, Mr. Daily Joke. Today is a special day. Because today, right now, I'm in church. You can see it right now. But today is a special day because today is the 15 years anniversary of this church. High ground. So we're all excited. We're all happy. It was a great day. And now we just finished with the, with the uh, service today. So we're going to have uh, lunch here. I would wish that you can uh, smell what I smell. It. Everything smells so good. Let's see if we can have a peek.
Well, church was great. Now uh, it's late at night. What time? What time is it right now? Four o'clock. Three o'clock. It's six forty-four. It's six forty-four. It's six forty-four. So we have permission to uh, pick up some uh, figs. So that's what that's what we're going to do right now. Let me show you something. This is so cool. What? We're picking the the. Uh, fix right now and I went inside the uh, tree and look at this that is so cool hopefully you can see it here's where the tree starts and it's a humongous tree I found a hairy, uh, a hairy fig. <laughs> yeah, it's hairy. <laughs> but it's so cool. It looks so magical. You know what I mean? <laughs> 